in British Week, Harry's masala sauce didn't go to plan. The sauce is stodgy as heck. Leaving him in the cook-off. Oh, no! I don't know how I got through that. I'm still in the competition and uh, I want to stay in the competition. Right, Harry. Yes? It's Indian Week. The theme this week is Indian and it's Nisha's specialities. Hopefully I can, I can do a better job. This is a dish that's right at the centre of my being. It's my bridal thali. This is the dish that I had all my relatives cook for me before I got married, which is a real Indian tradition. So we're having a butter chicken. We are having coconut meatballs, tandoori lamb chops, and a beautiful fragrant rice. It's very difficult because there are so many elements. This is the ultimate in plate spinning. That is so much to remember. Mm. There's so much going on. I'm just hoping that I can nail these recipes. This is the round that I'm most passionate about. I need you to do it proud on this. That is amazing. Cooked properly, this food is delicious. I just want to get it right. The kitchen. Now, Griff, your chef can't be with us this evening. So thankfully, Judy Jew is here to be by your side. Um, there's obviously three of you this evening. Weighing up these two, Harry. Yeah, not worried about AJ, but uh, Griff. <laughs> <laughs> and Nisha, you are our all-seeing eye of Indian cuisine, so can he nail it? He can absolutely nail it, but I think the thing is, it's convincing the judges and it not being a disadvantage that you have me, because I think judgment will be particularly harsh, Harry. That's Did you hear I mean. that, guys? <laughs> Careful to that. <laughs> Come on. Careful to that, mate. Okay, chefs, it is time for you to leave your stars. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck, Harry. Okay, I'll see you later. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Stars, get cooking. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Come on, Harry. It's very important for Nisha. That means it's important for me because I don't want to let her down, so I hope I can do it justice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, they're really gone. I think Harry's just crying because he knows he's going down. <laughs> I'm doing chicken sag tonight. Oh, yeah, chicken sag. Tuesday night sag. Sag. Cooking with the stuff. Welcome back to Cooking with the Stars, where our second cooking battle of the night is underway. Griff, Harry and AJ are 30 minutes into their Indian cooking battle. AJ is making catty rolls with a side of kachumba salad. It's a really tough call. It's a really hard thing to get right. Yeah. You're very brave to do that. Do you know what? This is my downfall, the chopping. Yeah, it takes forever, it takes doesn't forever, it? It takes forever, doesn't it? AJ is really, really behind. I'm stressed because she's just taken forever to make a kachumba salad, which should be a two-minute job. Chop, 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 chop. I don't know what she's doing. AJ. What are you doing? How long have I got that? Stars, you've got 25 minutes left. Oh, my gosh. Come on, AJ. Think, think, think. What I'm going to do is go on to the pub Arthur's. Oh, AJ, how's it going? Stressful. I'm making the pavathas. Yeah. Which is a gamble anyway. Why? I have got to roll this into flour. What, a lump, lump of without... butter like that into flour? Yeah, I've got to roll it in without the butter coming out. A lamination, Imagine. if you will. Oh, AJ. I know. Is this the most tricky bit you're doing? Yeah. Parata? Yeah. I think it's really time consuming. I can see on Jack's face, he's worrying about it. Yeah. I literally don't have enough time to do everything. I've literally, I'm fuming at myself. I can't watch this. Jack is having a heart attack at the minute. Harry is preparing a bridal thali of butter chicken, coconut meatball curry, tandoori lamb chops, and a fragrant spiced rice. The problem that we have is we've got four dishes. Because it's Indian week, I just think we needed to really push him. Because there's so many pans to juggle. I can smell a spice burning. That's not good. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh. I'm really worried that Harry is behind. Now he's panicking. <laughs> Griff is preparing a coriander naan, which will be served alongside his chicken sag and fragrant rice. It's not rolling. It's too sticky. The fact that he's on the dough already is quite impressive. 
Now, the question is, can I get this? Can I get it up? Nope, there's a hole in it. There's a hole in it. Oh, Griff is having problem with the non, it's ripping. It's not, uh, it's not rolling. I don't think my mentors would be very pleased with me. So this one, I've got to pick up now and get this done fairly quickly. It's going to be touch and go if that naan bread makes yeah. that rise or yeah. not. I've got to keep an eagle eye on that thing because I mustn't let it overcook. This isn't bubbling up yet. What would be so sad is if he gets that wrong and the whole dish sort of falls away. This is very hot. We need to put this over here. So he's putting it on, on a cutting board. Oh, my God. I have completely mucked up my naan. Ten minutes remaining, stars. Ten minutes remaining. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Alicia. With time running out, Harry reaches for his lifeline. Go, 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 yes. go. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Check the chops. Do you think we can get them on a griddle pan? Get them on the griddle pan. Get the chops yeah. and leave the rest to me. Yeah. She's going. Ah! Help me. Okay. It's a little bit of sea salt. You just concentrate on that for a second. I can only help you for one minute. Put, get more chopped coriander. Yeah. I put it over everything. Nisha, get out of the kitchen. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll okay. plate up. It's Carry fine. On. I've got time. I'll plate up. Yeah. I'm going to bet the salt. No, I've done salt. I've done salt. What have I done with my rice? Griff doesn't need me. He's plating. He's fine. Jack, out of the kitchen, please. Thank you. Thank you. One minute remaining. Come on, Harry. Where's my rice? Harry's got loads to do in this time. Come on, Harry. I feel almost emotionally on my knees here. What, what else do I need? These, these. I think I pushed him too far. Watch out, Griff! Watch out! Oh. Watch out, watch out! Come on, Harry! Come on, Harry! Don't drop it. Seconds. Nice, easy, careful. Oh, Harry. Come on, Harry! 15 seconds. Oh, oh, careful, Harry. Oh, careful. Oh, Griff has made an M&S chicken sag with lemon pila rice and a coriander naan. I didn't get that naan right. That was a mistake. Just didn't have time. I just had to get it out. <sighs> Harry has made a bridal tali of tandoori lamb chops, coconut meatball curry, butter chicken, and a spiced rice. That whole time I felt Nisha watching me, and I just, I just wanted to do it for her. I would have been gutted if I hadn't completed it. AJ has made marinated beef catty rolls served with a kachumba salad. I just focused too much on tomatoes for crying out loud, which meant that I rushed literally every other element of the dish. With that performance, I might be in the cook-off. So first up, it is Griff's chicken sag with lemon pilau, coriander naan, and a cucumber writer. Have a little taste. Right, chefs, let's hear what you think. Joseph. So, the chicken sag, the spice levels are perfect for me, personally. Chicken, slightly overdone, though, unfortunately, and the bread's a little dry. Tristan. Griff, the naan bread looks great. Unfortunately, it's naan biscuit. And lemon rice, it's fragrant, it's got that zing to it. I just need the zest in there, too. And lastly, rosemary. The chicken for me is perfectly cooked. I think that was really well done. Um, a naan bread should be fluffy. And, uh, and it should also have a little gap in the middle and things like this. And actually, that is not right. OK? OK. Thank you. OK, chefs. Next up, it's Harry's Bridal Thali, including butter chicken, tandoori lamb chops, coconut meatballs and fragrant cardamom rice. Have a taste. OK, well, will this bridal Thali be good enough to keep Harry out of the cook-off this time? Have you made Nisha proud with this dish, do you think? I really hope so. The thing that Nisha told me, she said, make sure, as you're cooking, to taste. But honestly, I didn't have any time. At no point have I tasted my food. It looks how it should look. OK. And I just have to hope that it tastes good. Francesco. Harry. 
you should always find time to taste your food. Your rice is nice, great flavor, but it's undercooked. Your lamb chop are dry, chewy. But your chicken over there is just fantastic. Thank you. Tristan, what do you think about Harris? Harry, I'm going to be desperately honest with you. It's pedestrian. And that's your fault for not tasting it, Harry. Mm -hmm. Nisha, that's your fault for giving him too much. There's three dishes here. Nisha, Harry hasn't let you down, has he? Harry's never let me down yet. Yeah. No, seriously, I, there came a point where I thought we'd we wouldn't get a, curry, a single curry out. So for him to have cooked three, you may say, pedestrian curries and a rice is extraordinary, in my view. Yeah, I know, but look, if it was simple and easy, but less pressure upon Harry, he could perform better. Thank you, chefs. And finally, it is AJ's catty rolls with pickled onions, kachumba salad, raita, and all butter paratha. Have a taste. Chefs, let's hear your thoughts. Firstly, Joseph. So, when I was watching you cook, um, I... Francesco. AJ. Your dish, compared to the other two, looks a bit terrible. Oh. But I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, the meat is succulent, it's tender. The way you did the lamination is just incredible with someone you never cooked. Uh, it's a great dish. Well done. Thank you. Chefs, it is time for you to make your decision. So, Rosemary, we'll come to you first. Who are you going to send to the cook-off? Riff, your nan was just, yep, you know, I'm wrong. Done. So sorry. That's okay. Francesco, how about you? Harry, I'm a chef. Flavor for me is everything. Sorry, Harry, I'm shooting you. It's okay. For the flavor. Yeah. Fine. Only for that. Sorry about that. It's okay. So one vote each for Griff and Harry. Tristan, who are you sending to the cook-off? Well. Unfortunately, Griff, I'm sending you to the cook-off. You only had three elements, and each of them was slightly off. So if Joseph also goes for Griff, then Griff will be going through to the cook-off. Yes. Joseph? The celebrity that I have chosen to send to the cook-off, I'm sorry, Griff, is you. OK. That means you're in the cook-off. I understand. Any 